Okay, so we have... Got some bone armor we can put on, so that's pretty dope. Got a spear we can equip. Some throwing stars. Alright, so what we need to do here is... Uh, so... Inventory item, iron spear, inventory item, throwing star, uh, <laughs> pants. <laughs> Put pants on my quick, quick select. You never know when you need pants. It's just under attack and you just rip your pants off. You're like, ah! <laughs> Confuse the enemy. Alright, so now I can... I should be able to... Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see how cool we look right now. How cool are we? We're having a fine... A fine squ skinky lad. What's going on up here? Flatfoot? Oh, what do you sell? Oh, you do training. What do you train? You have misinformed. I don't offer services to the public. Oh, well. Fine, then. Okay. Um. <laughs> Bone armor. What good is that? I don't know. We're going to find out. You look like you use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I like... Uh, you to help me recover some gold. Well, this is concerning already, Mr. Forehead. Um. Recover some gold? That's right, see, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes. Okay. I lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets, just from the money the locals pay us. Protection. Oh, so you run a trick and racketeering business? Is that what you're saying? But I know some of us are holding out, or some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher Fargoth. Everybody hates Fargoth. What did Fargoth ever do? He comes up uh, light the past couple of weeks. I've been shaking him down. Other than the fact that he's a wood elf. Other than the fact that he's a wood elf. Fuck wood elves. <laughs> I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like to find a Fargoth's hiding place. Ah, okay, this is the quest I remember. This is the quest I remember. Fargoth's hiding place. The only fact has got it somewhere in town. Just not just not sure where yet. I've already gone through the whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. You can find where he's stashing the gold if you can. I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Hell yeah, I actually know, I already know where this is, because I remember this from years and years and years ago. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not going, I'm not sure where it goes, but I know the wanderers around town. I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. Vest badge point south of the lighthouse, south of town. I'll give you a nice view of St. Anine. Keep an eye on where he goes. I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding the gold. Like I said, I already know where he's hiding the gold. Do I have to wait till nighttime? I suppose I can't just wait till night and then I'll, and I'll watch. Uh... There's the census office. Can't imagine busy office student is going to uh, going to have any time for someone like you. Well, fair. You're that's fair. Okay. So. Uh, uh. The uh, the hiding place is that hollow tree stuff, I believe. Yeah. I forget what the command for weight is, so I'll have to check real quick. Settings, controls, activate, sneak, run, jump, previous, next, toggle, journal, save, rest, T. Okay. Alright, so we gotta wait. We gotta wait till night. It's 2 p.m. right now. 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight. We'll wait for like nine hours or seven hours. Cool. 
I'd go stand up at the top of the lighthouse. I'm not sure what hour he does this in. Where is he? Where are you? Imperial fellow. I'm sure there's a certain hour he does this in, but I just don't remember what it is. I guess I really don't want to stand here, like, all night. Oh, there he is. He was sneaking just a moment ago. Speaking of which. Alright. Go stash your gold, friend. Go stash it. So that I can then kipe it. Oh, he's got to steal from the guard. You gotta walk all sneaky, that way no one to know. <laughs> you gotta walk like you got a shit. <laughs> you know? It's not so much that you're sneaky, just nobody wants to talk to you or look at you if you're walking like that. You're being weird. Stop being weird. <laughs> Alright, he's, he's moving that way. Who's clearing their throat around me? That's what I'd like to know. There he goes. There he goes. Yes, put your gold in the stump. Yes, do it. Oh yeah, that's that's. It. Oh, my, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck now, friend. Oh, he's stuck. Yeah, he's having he's having issues right now. You you okay over there, bud? So this right here, um, is an example of why. I was talking about this yesterday. There's no good way to get the frame rates in cities to be decent, like fully, fully, like decent, like solid all the time, 60. Because the AI, just teleported. The AI is bad and it causes weird bottlenecks. And also, you can only run it off one core because of the because of the way that the engine runs. Also, the engine's kind of a piece of shit, so, you know. Alright, well. We should be good. Look at that sky. Ooh, baby. Good old Morrowind. Oh, beep, boop, beep. Doo -doo. What's in this stump? Oh, there's his ring. Look at that again. And lockpick. That's dope. And 300 freaking gold. Holy shit. Dope. Alrighty. Um. You know, I'll come in to make your own. Yeah, I'll, I'll make my own potions eventually. Do, 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 do. I need alchemy shit, though. <laughs> We're going on an adventure, friends. But yeah, the AI being dicked up is one of the reasons why the frame rate is never going to be really, 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 like, perfectly good. In cities, particularly. Alright. Um, Yes. You found the hiding place. That's great. Tell you what, I'll give you a hundred gold, and you can keep anything else you found in there. Thanks for the help. Don't remember inventory. Hundred gold. Add to your inventory. Journal's been updated. <laughs> I got the ring back, so that's dope. I mean, this guy's kind of an asshole. I probably should just run away with it, but you know, whatever. All right. All right. Journal. Grateful that I found the money for Fargoth been hiding. He rewarded me with some gold and told me I could keep anything else I found in the bag besides the money he wanted. Alright. Cool. Let's go back to this guy. Now that we have 100 gold to work with here. Um, so we could get a potion to hope potentially not get completely dicked up when we have to fight somebody. Uh, or there's some gauntlets. We could even steal gauntlets. No, that's heavy armor. So this is, this is light armor, yeah, alright, so let's get some, let's get some of those, some of these, 
boots don't help us because we can't wear said boots. Oh, he's got more throwing stars. Cool. Um. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, hang on a second. He's got... Mm. That would be nice, too. We'll have to save up for that. Welcome, Jarvis. Yeah, we want this. Because we're an alchemist and we want to alchemy. Alright, let's... Bring the cost down. Nope. Nope. Eight. There we go. Alright, sweet. Okay, so... Now we have... This stuff as well. We are looking awesome right now. Uh, Kraden Kitsune, thank you. Or Kitsune, thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Hola! We're prepared to spread Ula across the land. Are you ready? Maybe I should get some pants or something. <laughs> Alright. Any time now. Any time now. This guy has fantastic hair. Like, look at that. Any what time now. It's just... It's just... Are you, uh... Are you related to Sigvald by any chance? Just, uh, just a question. All right. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, let's see. Hi oh, Karamong. <laughs> Felagad, Vivek. I'm in heart, Bellamore. So Bellamore is that way, which is the direction that we're supposed to go. Um, but there's something in particular I want to I want to get over here before we do that. Isn't that your hair from a few years back? Uh, yeah, it's close. It's close. Do, 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 do. See, it's not over here. It's this way, I think. And I think I need to go across this bridge. Yeah, it's over here. <laughs> Running through the land. Pretty sure it's on this road. Yep, yeah, right here. Hello, friend. Uh, I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without the, the terrible disorientation of a spell flying. Time is almost upon me. My research is finished, and all my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. Well, he screamed, all right. Not sure if that was a success scream, but you know, hey. Uh, he's got an iron long sword. That's cool. Let's see, armor rating four. Okay, our, our armor rating is six, so we'll just take these. He's got a helm, though. Oh, this... <laughs> the funny... The funny conehead helmet. Let's grab it and shoes. And the... Uh, Incarnian Flight Scrolls. This shit is freaking awesome. Let me just put it that way. Alright. Um, yeah. He looks like he died happy. Yeah, he looks like he's doing okay. <laughs> That's what the screaming was all about. Alright, so just so you guys see what this is all about. Um, so this is a Fortify Acrobatics 1000 scroll. Um, so we're going to... Let's see. If 
think I remember how to use scrolls. It's not right clicking, obviously. Oh, there it is. It's over here. Okay, yeah. Let's put on a scroll in a Carnian flight. You need to work on a landing spell? Yeah. Fucking love the hat. This hat is this hat is the best hat in the game. And as an Argonian, I'm probably going to be wearing it for a long time, honestly, because, uh, yeah, I can't wear, like, full face helmets. But it's a, it's a pretty dope hat, let me tell you. I'm also, like... Alright, so. We're gonna cast this up. Alright, hold, hold on to your butts, chat. Huh! Whee! Wee! Well, I might actually land in water. Huh! I'm good. Ah! We didn't die. All right. Awesome. <laughs> We're good. All right. Now I got to figure out where the frick I am. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, we're gonna turn that off now. <laughs> It went better than expected. Yeah, so usually, about nine times out of ten, the first time you use this scroll, you do exactly what he did. You jump and you land. If you land on the ground, you die instantly. You're just done. The fall damage is insane. You just fucking crater yourself. But I managed to land in water accidentally, so we'll go with it, I guess. Uh, let's put shadow form on as our magic. The hell is making all that noise? This guy over here is probably like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright. I do want to go fight some shit, though. I do want to go... I, I want to hit things. Where the... Where the crap even am I at the moment? Uh, So we were here in Sadie Neen, and then we flew the opposite direction of where we wanted to go. Because Belmore is up here. Well, I suppose we can travel to Belmore. Right? Yeah, we, we can... We need to just go... We need to go north-right. We'll be alright. Magical water with no surface tension for the win. Exactly. Everybody knows that if you land in water, you're fine. Like, it won't kill you. What's the worst gonna happen? Just slightly disoriented for a little while? Oh, there's a cave over there, too. Ooh. Actually, hang on a second. Let's hit this thing with some throwing stars. Ha! Ha! Take that, you! My gosh, throwing stars are short range. We got it! Kill the scrib. We're truly the best. <laughs> so throwing stars have, like, negative range, so that's good to know. <laughs> Which I suppose makes sense. All the ingredients. Uh, so this might kill it. Oh my fucking gosh! <laughs> that legitimately startled me. Uh, okay. That guy is not to be trifled with. Um, well then. So do we try to fight this guy? Cast our invisibility spell. Let's see what's going on in here. Ow. Nope. Nope. That's a no-go. Alright. <laughs> that guy does damage. We, we killed the scrib, and then we got too big for our britches. Ah, uh, it's before we jumped. Alright, well, whatever. We keep our scroll done. We'll walk. Need more oola? Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not there yet. We ain't there yet. We need a trait, uh, an Ula, an Ula training montage. Gotta remember to save as well. Okay. Now this is essentially what we were going to do before I accidentally jumped and didn't die. We get to explore a little bit more. Look at those moons. Moons. 
shoulder didn't catch on the door jam. What kind of game is this? I mean, maybe that's what killed me. You never know. Our armor rating is 4. Our health is 35. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Ha! We can pick on little... We can pick on little worm things. Oola! Victory is ours. Start small. Work your way up. <laughs> Take that, little worm thing. Never know what hit him. Even though I overhand chopped with my spear, which is fundamentally terrible. <laughs> uh, let's put the spear away before this person gets mad. Hi! Um, Imperial Law. Don't steal, don't brawl or fight to start fights, don't kill except in self-defense. If you're caught, guards will choose your punishments, fines, or hard labor. I see. Sounds good, mate. Starts while become a god. Are you a god? Hey, there's some skeletons over there. Should probably also kick my ass. Anything bigger than a bug will probably, like, destroy me wholesale at this point. Just saying. Speaking of bug, where's that bug I killed earlier? Where are you at, bug? Has a lizard that worm would have been delicious. I did take its body parts for later. Oh yes, Tomb Kings. Sorry. Oh, mud crab. Hell yeah, mud crab. <laughs> ah! Oh, we whiffed. Oh, this is bad. Wrong thing. Eh. Bah! Eh. Bah! Oh gosh. Oh, it's a rock crab. It's not a bug crab. Not bad. Sorry for misappropriating you. Okay. Get the mushrooms. How much how much are we carrying in mushrooms at the moment? Our weight is at 110 out of 200. We have a ass ton of mushrooms, I imagine. Yeah. Alright, so when we get alchemy stuff, we'll be good to go. We'll be able to make a bunch of stuff. I just want to say this water is freaking gorgeous. Like, I can't get over, like, how good this fucking water looks. Misidentifying crabs, 0 out of 10. I mean, being able to identify crabs is an incredibly important skill. I'm embarrassed that I... Oh my gosh! Is he okay? <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Now the question is, was that the mods or is that just Morrowind being Morrowind? <laughs> You'll never know. Hey, there's a mud crab. Haha. -ha. No crab meat? Oh, that's shitty. Haha, <laughs> -ha, I went under the ground. I dodged you. <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> Rocks are agile as fuck. Never know what hit them. Obsessed with collecting mushrooms. Is this a mud crab that's floating? It is. Hello, mud crab. Vague old memories from Spear Run. Not 100% sure, right? <laughs> is this something? Is this normal? It could be. We're talking Bethesda here. It is, anything's possible. <laughs> that's a big slaughter fish. You guys see that? Oh, here comes a skeleton. Hello, skeleton. Going to save real quick. Alright, here we go. Ow! Ow, holy shit. Oh, my freaking word. <laughs> Fuck you! Get away from me! You suck! Stop dodging my shit! Oh, excuse me, mud trap. 
Jeebus. I hit him once. I'll hit you again. This guy's got jukes. Good thing he's a skeleton, otherwise I might be dead. Freaking vampires summoning skeletons all over the place. My fatigue is like zero, it's probably related. Yeah, you're probably right. You know that thing I was talking about earlier? About how fatigue like, really affects combat? Yeah, it's... yeah. It's not helping my situation right now, at all. Let me use up all my throwing stars at zero fatigue. This seems like a good idea. Huh. Dodgy, dodgy fellow. There we go, we hit him twice. It's a good thing I bought all these freaking iron throwing stars. So that might be in serious trouble. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck on a rock! No, kill me! <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, well, we're good, we're good. <laughs> the ancient art of running backwards. Almost got him. Like another... 70 or 60 more throwing stars will be good. Oh my gosh, he's so low. Eat throwing star, friend. How many throwing stars am I going to actually be able to get back from this? Probably zero. Oh my gosh, I just need him one more time. Uh, it's a good thing I have 60 speed. It's a good thing we picked slot. Oh my gosh, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, that's a tree. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, we're going to going to take equip moment and we're going to equip this ring of healing as our spell we're going to uh we're going to do some healing and then we're also going to stand here for a second and try to uh to catch our breath i used up all my throwing stars it's terrible ah you do have range advantage as well with spears like a little bit so if I can like, get him in the sweet spot where he's not dicking on my day. Oh, oh my gosh, why? Did I ever tell you I hate you, Skeleton? God damn it, I'm out of out of charges in that now. I'm gonna go chill on this rock real quick and see if he see if he can get up here. Alright, I need to, I need to breathe. Can he get up here? He probably can. Oh, yeah, he can. Okay, at least we have some stamina now. We got some stamina. We might be able to give him the pokes. Got him! Oh my gosh. Alright, what does he have? He's got an iron mace. Cool. He's got five of my throwing stars that were stuck in him. He's got a netch leather shield. And some bone Cool. Alright, we were successful. We killed something, chat. That wasn't a crab. We killed something that could fight back. Which I guess is really more to the point. <laughs> Oola! Oola, skinks! Fear me. For I am skink. I, I have a f funny hat. Everybody knows that the funnier the hat, the stronger the individual. So I, I have to be incredibly powerful. Alrighty. Uh, so, if I fight another skeleton, I'm going to die. So let's try to avoid that, I guess. I am at, like, at 5 HP. I need to... I need to... Like, sleep. <laughs> I think. Um, didn't have the shield he was carrying? I think he did. I picked up a shield. Yeah, the Netch Leather Shield. Yeah. This bad boy. This bad boy right here. Hang on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Blocking is automatic in this game. You don't actually, like, raise your shield. You just have a block chance when you have a shield, and then you throw up the block. So I can't just, like, manually block. Yep. All right. So. We're basically until healed. Yeah, so let's rest until healed. That also brings us to the midday, which is helpful. 
All right. The question is, should we continue harassing skeletons in hopes of becoming better at video game? There is a giant slaughter fish in the water, like I was pointing out earlier. There is a, sh a shipwreck as well, which I'd like to check out. <laughs> My bad at, four, at 480p. I'll blame that. I mean, that's reasonable. But the symbol is pretty small. Oh, that's a quarma cuddle. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. I forgot about that. That's right. You could do... A so there's a weird... I'm not, I'm not going to do it because it's kind of strange, but then again, maybe it's all right. Um, so you can still get the armor from shields when you have 200 weapons in Morrowind for some reason. Like, you could have them equipped when you have a 200 weapon, 200 weapon equipped. I don't think I can get up this. Ugh. Can I get over this fence? That's the next question. Without without getting stuck in the fence. Nope. I should marry my waifu. It's a good idea. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go do that right now. So I'll be back. No, just kidding. <laughs> We're going to get to do our adventure. Huh. Ah. So again, there's a giant slaughterfish over here. But I'm just going to rest here for a second. We're going to get our stamina back up. Uh, let's see. What spell do I have equipped at the moment? Shadow form. That's chameleon. Moon shadow. Let's do moon shadow. So we can turn ourselves invisible. That way you can swim across here invisible. And potentially get the sneak attack on the skelly boy. Haha. -ha, invisibility. It's just a floating spear. God, the water looks good. Oh, he's got a bow. Screw you, man. Holy shit. We almost got him. Oh my gosh. Alright. So. Everything kills us. Oh. Uh, hi. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? <laughs> we can't beat an archer in melee. Yeah, you saw the shield pop up though, right? Like when I was stabbing, like a sh the shield like threw up. He, he got no scoped. Yeah, E360 no scoped the shit out of me. Alright. Um, so we're going to try that again, only hopefully this time with less horrendous failure. I have to be really careful, because, yeah, everything is so dangerous. Like, Morwen does not mess around. When it comes to just unapologetically murdering the shit out of you. Huh. Oh, good, we whipped. Ow. Ow, holy crap. I also need to stop. Oh, it's a slaughterfish! <laughs> well, poop pants. <laughs> I should probably save after I do this. Oh, jeez, hello. Okay. All right, we can we can deal with little worm guys. That's fine. We're good. We're good with that. All right, I'll save again. Okay, so that skeleton legitimately just shot me for like half my health, like right off the bean. So I think we're gonna try this one more time. If we can't kill him in the next the next attempt, then we'll we'll go someplace else. We'll just. We'll just say, all right, skeleton, you're too cool for us. Also, we gotta watch out for this. Why is he swimming now? We gotta watch out for the slaughterfish. Because holy bananas, we just get freaking creamed by that slaughterfish. So 
apparently the slaughterfish and the uh, slaughterfish and the skeleton get along. Oh, here, he, here he comes. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We dodged an arrow. We did not dodge that arrow. Huh? Huh? We got him. First try. Oh, he's got an iron longbow. No wonder he's messed our dab. Holy shit. Okay. Well, that's reasonable. Huh. Ula skinks! Victory is ours. Huh, huh, huh. Huh. My has asked me whether CBD is used to stop smoking cigarettes. No, dude. But we do sell... Uh, vaporizers, which are designed to help you stop smoking. No, I'm alright, thanks, mate. <laughs> he just wanted to, s he just wanted to see if he could get some CBD to stop smoking. I guess you know, hey, it's fine. Wooden bucket, barrel. Take all that shit. Ooh, a box. And gold, a silver claymore. That's worth 320 gold. Okay, we're taking that shit. That was worth fighting the skeletons for, I think. Stop pushing me, log. You're pushing me, boy. Floating barrel. Ooh, much. A uh, bunch much more goods. No, 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 no. Don't, don't kill me, slaughterfish. Oh, my fucking word. They're, they're so fast. <laughs> the waters. They're dangerous. I heard the music. I became very frightened. There's two of them now. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Okay, so I'm going to. Oh, I gotta use it one time in a day. Oh, that sucks. All right. Let's see what's in here. And hope we don't get murdered by whatever it is. Barrel, floating bucket. It's a crate full of moon sugar. Oh my gosh, there's drugs. Now, I think having moon sugar on you actually causes problems with guards, so I'll have to be careful here. But Argunian the Argonian, you are a skink. You are aquatic. You can kill these pathetic fishmen. We have to commune with the fishmen first. We can't just can't just go around. Um, can't just go around immediately attempting to murder them. Like, they get a pass for the moment. Alright, so let's put on water breathing. Okay. Common ring. More shoes we can't wear. Expensive skirt, we put that on. That's one expensive skirt. That skirt looks awesome. Bunch of ash statues? What the hell? Trapped level 40 chest. Well, I think we're not getting into that. I don't think I have any probes on me. No, I don't have any probes, so I can't disarm the trap. Well, let's not die then. <laughs> it's the fanciest skink I've ever seen. You know it. Now I got a now I have a fancy skirt and an awesome hat. Like I am undeniably the coolest thing in Morrowind. Whoopa! Whoopa! So good. So someday I'll have to someday I will have to return and get that chest, but I will not remember to do that. So it's on that one's on you, chat. One of these days when I get higher level security and a probe. Fashion wind, right? It's a good thing I'm a lizard man. Skeek! Try not to die to uh, slaughterfish as we swim across here. Don't forget about the chest. Right. Gotcha. 
Some loud ass rain. Hello, over there. The chest? Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, no, yeah, we can't get it yet. We can't get it yet. Remind me later. All right, so we need to go to Belmore, uh, which is over there. Calm down, Sky. Seriously. This is a high quality rain, though. Da, da, who, who are you? Hoopst? Hoopst are you? You're a dreamer? What, I forget what that means. You were just 30 hours ago, and then you see. We see you waking and sleeping. Uh huh. I dream soul of the six house, flesh of the Lord Dagon. Discerning eye. My starkest madness seeming is divine sense. Come grasp the chain and prove you're, the, you're sane. Got any rumors there, bud? It's not a rumor, it is the truth. Lord Dagoth, Dagoth Ur, Lord of the Sixth House, the savior of the, of the Dunmer, Dunmer people, has awakened, and with him shall all the sleepers awaken, and Morwin shall be cleansed of the stain of the false gods of foreign rule. Um, yes, well. Uh, it's our, our awakening. He comes forth in his glory, and his people and his people shall rejoice. His enemies shall shatter like dust. We are the Dunmer. Uh, once this was Dunmer land, it'll be once again. Well, I mean, you are not native to Morrowind, but okay. Hey, time to get what up. Morrowind is the ancient homeland of the Dunmer people. Once in the ancient days, Dunmer ruled themselves, their own land. This place is called Restaya. We are now weak, no more than foreign slaves, ruled by foreigners who serve false gods. But now Dagath, Lord Dagath, Dagath Ur, Lord of the Sixth House, has awakened. Now the restless shall wake from their sleep, and this will once again be land of the free and proud Dunmer. All right, weirdo. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have fun, lady, standing out here in the rain. I'll, I'll be. I'm going this way. How Bill doing? What? All right. So we're heading towards. All right. Uh, Hyla Ode. Is this it? Forward. Oops. What this city is? Little bro. Oh. Uh, do it all right. As far as I know. Ah. Uh. Herbs, shall we? Grab all this stuff up. Get ready for a break hey, out. thanks for the follow as well. Appreciate it. Right, so we're kind of cross countrying it to Bellamora, which is probably not the safest ideas, considering everything kills me. But you know, hey, let's give it a shot. Well, first off, um, how are we doing our spear? We're 42. All right, we're getting there. Our light armor is going up. I think we have unarmored as well. It's yeah, our unarmored's getting a little bit because we don't have shoes on, obviously. <laughs> also, I should probably take a breather here with my stamina, just in case I run into something. I oh, won't we'll get instantly murdered. Well, I'll probably, I will probably get instantly murdered anyway, but you know less quickly. Hide under this mushroom. Hip, hip. Just too cheap, to buy, too cheap to buy a ride there? 
Uh, I mean, I could take buy a ride there, but then I wouldn't be on an adventure, would I? It's more one of the, I like, like running around and adventuring. I <laughs> caught Uber. <laughs> yeah, giant bug Uber. Is this supposed to be this way? Not sure if that's supposed to be that way. Hi. Hi. What's going on out here, boys? Or gals. Or whatever you happen to be. Uh, I'm a miner of the Shulk Egg Mine, and I'm out here taking a break. Just an egg miner. Fair enough. <laughs> no cap. Uh, latest rumors. At first, it seemed the... The fuss about the Averine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Narvar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? It's important to them, I guess. If you're heading into the back country always carry a couple restore health restore a few cure disease cure blight potions with you that is good advice actually unfortunately i have no health potions so yay car foragers the warriors won't attack us since they're used to our smell but the they attack intruders and you smell like an intruder but don't worry the queen squirts out foragers and warriors like seeds so if the foragers and warriors bother you kill them or run past them whichever is easier choose a favor don't kill the workers they won't bother you them to keep the queen laying eggs. I see. I'm a miner. Usually they're here on Vanderfell. Being a miner means you're an egg miner. Script jerky, script jelly, karma eggs, the karma cuddle are the basis of the Vanderfell economy. Yes, there are some more valuable resources we take from mines, raw ebony, raw glass, dro, wax, daedra skin. Daedra heart diamond. She's always just, just like, you know, we just we just go into the mines and we get some Daedra hearts. That's what it is. Let's cuddle. Um. So karma are those like little freaking worm things. So I I would actually have to. What the actual definition of cuddle is? I'm not sure. We'll find out here real quick. Um, it's not not a cuttlefish, apparently. This was a cuttle bone, I think. So I'm not exactly sure what it is, I guess. And Google is just showing me cuttlefish, which I don't, I don't think that's what it is either. Uh, it's good work too, but it's the Eggmires that feed Morrowind and bring cash from all over the Empire. Foragers, scout surface. All right, good enough. Goodbye. How was this? A Myers pick? You use a pickaxe to mine eggs? This is an odd place. Hey there, Wood Elf. Oh, okay. He has he, he's, he does the same stuff. All right. We are we learned everything we need to know. We are now uh we're now subject subject matter experts on egg mining. <laughs> do, do, that, is that what is over there? Oh, I think that's the place we need to go to. We found it. Uh, curdle is a weird way to say scrambled. Is it curdle? Or am I just, did I read it wrong? No, it's cuddle. It's with two T's. Quarma cuddle. It's, uh, it's part of the shell or something? I'm not sure. <laughs> We're almost to the city. We can continue on our quest. Eh. 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 I 
All right. Hey, look, it's still Strider. So if we would have taken the Stilt Strider, that's where that is where we would have ended up, is right there. But instead, we walked. Look at all that cool shit in the distance. Hell yeah. There's just cool shit everywhere. I need reading glasses, totally misspelled it. What city is over there? Oh, that's the Moon Moth Legion Fort. Okay, yeah, so they expected you, yeah, because they expected you to go up this way past the Moon Moth Fort. But we went the other way because we're, we're different. Yeah, late as fuck. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's four o'clock in the morning, so you know, hey. <laughs> Ugh. Alrighty, so for our quest. Um, we needed to find Cassius Cosades. And we need to go to the corner club in the south wall. Yeah, it's tomorrow. It's the truth. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, and what do you know? The south wall corner club. We're too good at this. Who are you? Hello. Hello, friend. My name is Kaylin. Welcome to Bellavora. If you have questions, I'd be happy to, to answer. If you have a question, I'd be happy to answer it. Or try, anyways. And it's just a little advice you'd like, that's fine, too. That's interesting. Hmm. Hang on a second. Ah, uh, no, I think we're fine. Okay. I mean, you do what you gotta do, right? Training. So, could athletics for a lot of money, because we're already pretty high on athletics. And this other stuff I don't really care about, so that ain't happening. Um, so there are, so there was recently Turd Imperial Town and Mining Corporation. The Caldera Mining Company has been granted a Imperial Monopoly to remove raw ebony from the rich deposits here. Caldera has the appearance and flavor of West of Western Imperial Town. <laughs> Let's see. South Wall. Working class quarter club in Belmora, east of the Ore River. You mean like directly next to us? Yes. It's owned by the guy we're, I think the guy we're looking for, yes. Alright, let's do it. Hello. Freaking modded character models are really, really good looking, honestly, for particularly for a changing up a game from 2002. All right, so journal. Um, go to the town. Report to the man named this. Find out where he lives. I should ask in Bellamoria. For Bellamora at the corner club. Okay, so it doesn't give it tell me specifically who to ask. How about you? What do you know? It's the owner, he must be around here somewhere. I see. Uh that old sugar sugar tooth, I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask the owner and they'll know. Alright, cool. Goodbye. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Hi there. Sugar Lips Habasi. Uh -huh. Alright, where is that owner? That's not you. It's not you. Only he stands there. It's a great name. Uh, see the council. How, how can I serve you? Oh, you sell spells? But I'd offer services. Who who told you that? Okay. Well done. Uh, rip. So apparently I need to know more about this guy before he'll start offering me services. Uh, I don't know what business I have with him, but be careful. Cassius Casadas will appear to be a pathetic man. 
but don't judge by appearance, for some people made that mistake a while ago, and now they're not with us anymore. Right. Cool. Are you the owner? No. Who's in charge here? Find who's in charge. What I do, I'm gonna talk to them. Hello? Is it you? Hey, it's you. Good day, I'm, uh, Victor, uh, Calosius, or Silosius, pub publican of the South Wall here in Balamoria. Balamora. We rent beds, I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services, ser services or a specific place nearby. If you're looking for somewhere in particular, I may be able to help. Chairless world, everybody stands. Don't ask a Morrowind character model to sit in a chair. The whole world would probably just, like, fold in on itself like a house of cards. <laughs> it's every Things would be flying around everywhere. Alright. Um, do you barter? Get rid of that ash statue if you want my services. I don't want it in my presence. Oh, that's probably why the... I bet you, that's probably why the dreamer was like, Ooh, you have a... Um, you have a wonderful eye or something like that. It's probably because I have ash statues on me. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your background, sir? I run this quarter club. It's nothing fancy. Just a place for locals here in Labor Town. Drink and relax. They work hard. I like the peace and quiet. I'm sure you understand. Where is this man speaking? I'm the owner. Okay, no, nope. other guy. You have similar names. Old Cassius rents little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go to the front door, not the upper door, to the terrace. Then go out the main door, I guess. Then right up the stairs and left at the top of the stairs and go down to the end of the street. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so we go out the door, go right up the stairs, and left, and down the street. Aha! I imagine this is his house, then. It is! Look at that. Ah! Put your clothes on, man. Jeez, what the crap? Who just wears pants and gloves? Some weird-ass shit you got going on in here, man. What? Yes, I'm Cassius Casadas. What, what do you mean? You were told to report to... To report to you? What are you talking about? Um... So you say your name is Argunian. You have been told to report to me to deliver a package, perhaps. Let me look at it. <laughs> He's been waiting for you. I'm a little bit concerned. Yeah, it's very interesting. So it says that the Emperor wants me to mentor you. That means you'll be following my orders. Are you... Are you ready to trust me and follow my orders, Argunian? Do I have a choice? Is this part of the great plan? Or is this freaking Carl just spouting nonsense again? Uh... Trust in the great plan? Yes? His chest is hot and his hands are cold. Fair enough. Uh, good. Welcome... To the service, novice Argunian. You are now a member of the Imperial Blades. Ah! Book. Where the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the in the provinces. We watch the uh, in Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And now the Emperor commands. We obey. So, pretty much everything you've said to me so far is we do lots of paperwork. Great. I'm so glad I signed up for this. This will be exciting, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I, I am Imperial Spy Master for Morrowind, and is that why you wear no shirt and gloves? Is that what is this the standard uniform for Spy Masters in Morrowind? And since I, I am ranking Blades Agent in Morrowind, you report to me. Follow my orders, obey the, our rules, and you'll do fine. You can use my bed if you need rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with the blade trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, you can give 
uh, I can give you orders right away. Don't forget to visit the Blade Trainers. Oh, okay, so I could probably go to the, uh, go to the people in the, um, in the freaking townhouse now, or the, or the pub, and, uh, the public house, and do training. The hell emote is that? That is a crazy what face. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so. Um, rules. What are the rules around here? The rules for the blades are simple. Follow orders, my orders. Don't steal from the blades. Don't attack anyone from the blades. Simple rules. Follow them, or you'll be expelled. Once you're expelled, you're out forever. Yeah, let's not do that, shall we? Let's not do that. What kind of services do you offer, Mr. Shirtless Man? We have our own Blades Trainers, of course. There are many public services around Balmora. Members get better prices from the Guild services in Balmora Fires Guild, or Majors Guild, or across the river. You find contacts for the Balmora Thieves and the south wall up the street. There's an Imperial Cult, cult Shrine nearby Moonmoth Legion Fort. Oh, maybe it actually, it's potential the Thieves Guild is actually in the south wall, so never mind. Steal from them. This guy has nothing to steal. I mean, he could take his gloves, I guess. Thieves Guild? The rest of the Empire of the Thieves Guild is, is a more or less organized group of local criminal syndicates governing, Ill, uh, governing illegal trade in their communities. Here in Morrowind, the Thieves Guild is a newcomer. The established local crime lords are called the Kamana Tong, and the Thieves Guild doesn't advertise, partially to avoid the law and partially to avoid the Kamana Tong, who have sworn to destroy the upstart Thieves Guild. Sugar Lips Habasi over the south wall is the local guild boss. Oh, well, there you go. It's a, <laughs> Cassius Cosatus is a code name for Bickastickus. <laughs> I can see that. What are your What are your orders? First thing, pilgrim. <laughs> First thing, pilgrim. You're new, and you. And you look it, here's 200 drakes, and get yourself a decent weapon or armor, or a spell, and for, second thing, you need a cover, a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, or the Mages Guild, or the Imperial Cult, or the Imperial Legion, advance in the ranks, gain skills and experience, or go, or go out on your own and look for freelance work or trouble. Then when you're ready, come back and g and I'll have orders for you. <laughs> Pilgrim. Jeez, Louise. Oh, we got 200 gold out of it, at least. That's something. So we have to go wander around like an aimless fuck for a while before he'll give us orders? Is that what this is? Gosh damn it, man. At least he gave, at least he gave us cash for it. Uh, Mage's Guild... It's a guild for the arcane arts, and it's where you find wizards for hire, training goods, services, cheaper for members. Guild stewards know where to find work. If you want to be a wizard, join and work your way up the ranks. The Mages Guild is better. It's better bet than the Fighters Guild. Ranus Athreus is a guild steward. Talk to her if you want to join up. She's got a chip on her shoulder, but her apprentice, Ajira, seems to be okay for a shit. Oh, good. Casual racism as well. Fantastic. You know you're in an Elder Scrolls game. Now do English. <laughs> Little advice. Uh, how do you judge, judge eight jobs? Difficulty, consider three things. Location, opposition, and payoff. Long walks in the wilderness are usually tougher than local town tasks. Tougher opponents make tougher jobs. Daedra, vampires, rogue, Talvani. You're one of the ones to look out for. And finally, the reward offered large. Is large, the dangers will be large too. <laughs> that makes sense. Imperial cult? The Imperial cult worships the nine divines. The uh, Adra, Akatosh, uh, Diabella, Arake, Zenithar, Mara, Stendar, uh, Karanith, and Trianos, and the Tiber Septum. Founder and patron of the Empire in Morrowind is partly maintaining the faith of our outlander, outlanders like us, and partially a missionary cult bringing the enlightenment to the heathen Dunmer. Oh, come on, guys. Jesus, please. 
can see Solvitz's Volnus and Fort Moonmoth to join, but you have to go to Ebonheart if you want to become a lay servant. All right, uh, freelance work. What do, we, what do you guys say about that? What do you have to say about that? You can always just wander around and ask for work, hunt monsters and sell their hides, collect ingredients for for alchemists. Oh, that's why I should do the money. Yeah, let's get an alchemy set. Um, prey on bandits and smugglers. <laughs> prey on the bandits and the smugglers. <laughs> now the shoes on the other hand, friend. You thought you were a bandit, but now I'm stabbing you. Search for ruins for loot. All you need are better skills and conditioning, the knowledge of Morrowind. Spend what you earn on equipment and trading, then come back. A little less wet behind the ears and won't have to worry about much. Send you out on mission. Oh, cool. I can move this box around. That's neat. Um, Fighters Guild? Fighters Guild is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor to regulate the higher training of mercenaries, training goods, services, cheaper for members. Good guild stewards know where to find work. You have to start your services with Arda's Fire Eye, Bellamara Guild Steward. She's new. And I don't know her well. Precious Mercius, the out of Rune Guild Steward, I know and trust, but he only handles higher ranking assignments. Right. Um, okay, a bunch of trainers around town. Nine toes. Nine toes, leave my door facing south. Go, go right down the steps and then turn left and head south looking for his door on the left. Um, okay, well, that's just where all the trainers are. All right, well... Goodbye. I'm going to sleep in your bed.